how to invert an image in Photoshop. Okay, how to invert an image in Photoshop. Well, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018. The same approach can be used in CC 2017, etc, etc. Now, first thing to do, a very, very basic step would be to just quickly go to Image and Adjustments and Invert. So apply that very quick and easy. You've got a nice inverted image at this point. Now, that's it. You really could finish at this point. But if you want to maybe create some slight variations, of course, with this, what you can do, you can also, I'm just going to quickly go over here, Edit and Fade Invert. Now you can select a number of blending modes. I'm just going to go with Difference, which creates a nice inverted image as well, and Exclusion, and Screen. There's a number of different ones that work very nicely. Some work better than others. Go back to Normal, and what you can also do is, of course, Fade. You can actually fade that so you can just make a slight variation of that. Now, again, if you don't want to go any further, don't have to, but there's a great feature, adjustment layers. And with adjustment layers, it means you can actually modify them at any point in the process. So, I'm just going to go back to the image now. So, let me go over here to a layer and a new adjustment layer and invert. Click OK. Great. At this point, you can stop again, but you can, what you can do, you can remove it if you wish. So you can just remove it any time. You can also go over here and add with the mask. You can change things. But I'm just going to quickly use a gradient first. So you can just apply a standard gradient. And you can see you can keep that as normal. And that's inverted over there. You can just modify it at different positions. So maybe you want to select that eye and invert the whole rest of the image. You can do it that way just by using that. You can see the there. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm just also, what you can do, you can actually use brushes. So you can just use brush, just apply that again, use that as black or obviously grey. So you can just say there, just apply that. So it doesn't make it so effective. I'm just going to push it there. And then you can apply again, you can see the that remains as before, but they've got you've got the original image there. Also, what you can do, you can use shapes. So I'm just going to go quickly with a shape and I'm going to use it as pixels. So I'll select that and then just apply that over there. And so you can then just add that. The rest of the image is obviously as before, inverted, and you've got the image there as normal. Now, what you can also do, you don't actually have to use the whole of the image. In the thing with shapes is you can use them as path and then convert that into a selection. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. Just go over here, select path option, and then drag that out. I'm using obviously an arrow design. This, these are graphic extras ones, so you, you can use any shape as well. So just use that. Go over here to the pass. If you can't see that, it's window and pass. And then go to there and make selection. So make selection, set that to zero, click on, and then once you've got that, we can go to back again to the adjustment layers, go to a layer, a new adjustment layer, and invert. Click OK. And now you've got this basically a custom shape as obviously adjustment layer, which you can move around and so you can place in different places. And of course you can still, as it's an adjustment, you can just move that over to there and do that. And of course what you can do is just a layer, a standard layer, so layer and drop shadow, and you can add drop shadow to that. Click OK. Right, another option you can do is I'm just going to go over here to curve adjustments. That's another way of actually modifying slightly, and you can do the same sort of approach with curve adjustments that I've been doing with the invert. So just going to go back to the flatten image, and then image, and adjustments, and curves. Right, once you've actually got that, one of the defaults is there, so you can just go down here to presets, and negative, select that. So you can see, you can just quickly invert the image. Again, you can just click OK at that point, but you don't have to, of course, you can modify it slightly, just tweak that, just create a nice invert there, or maybe with red, just change it subtly, like that, and click OK. 
Now, you can also do it with adjustment layers, so layer, and you feel layer, and curves. Click OK, and go over here to the properties, and again, you've got the same negative. So negative there, and you can modify that. And of course, as before, you can go over here, and then you can just add a gradient, or a brush stroke, etc., a shape, as well as another option. And right, next thing you can do, you can also use a camera raw filter. So you can use it as effect invert. So uh, there's an option for that. Just going to go flatten image. Back to that. So now just go over here to the layer and smart objects. Now you don't have to use it as smart object. I like smart objects because it basically turns it into a smart filter. And again, you can change the properties at any point. So convert to smart object. And then once you can see it's a smart object over here, what you can do, you can just go over here to filters and camera raw filter, and then just click, there's another option there. Now, there's no features obviously for negative, but you can just quickly go and select there and just drag that down and drag that up there to create exactly the same thing. And again, red, just modify that if you want to create subtle differences, and again, you've got the effect there, and with. These, and then of course, just remove it at any point, process like that. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you very much.